गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन ओके सो इन माई लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द स्टेट लाइन एंड वी सॉल्व फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज नंबर टेन पॉइंट थ्री ओके सो विल कंटिन्यू दैट पोर्शन टूडे सो एक्सरसाइज नंबर इज टेन पॉइंट थ्री एंड वील सॉल्व फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हियर ओके द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नंबर वन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिड्यूस द फॉलोइंग इक्वेशन इन टू स्लोप इंटरसेप्टिंग फॉर्म ओके फ्यू एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन वन टू थ्री एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन क्वेश्चन इज गिवेन वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट दिम इन टू द पॉइंट स्लोप सॉरी स्लोप इंटरसेप्टिंग फॉर्म एंड यू नो द स्लोप इंटरसेप्टिंग फॉर्म ऑफ स्टेट लाइन इज वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी वेर सी इज द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन एंड सॉरी एम इज द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन एंड सी मीन्स द सी मीन्स द वाई इंटरसेशन ओके सो यू हैव टू पुट द इक्वेशन इन दैट फॉर्म द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो यू ट्राइंग टू पुट द इक्वेशन इन टू द स्लोप इंटरसेप्टिंग फॉर्म लेट्स सी हाउ so from here we have to find the value of y first so 7y will be equal to minus x that means y is equal to minus 1 by 7 x okay and a uh, comp with for com compare this equation with this equation we are putting zero here now if i compare this equation and this equation we have the slope of the line slope of the line is minus 1 by 7 and y interception y interception is equal to 0 so this form is the slope intercepting form of the straight line okay hope you understood okay now let's uh, go to the next question we'll take one more example uh the second question is the second question is a uh, 6x plus 3y is equal to a uh, 5 is it was minus 5 is equal to 0 we have to represent this equation into a uh, slope intersecting form so let's see how so process is similar we have to find the value of y from here so if you want to calculate the value of y so first we have to see this term and this term from left hand side to right hand side so it will be minus 6x minus minus it will be plus equal to 5 that means y is equal to uh minus 6 by 3x plus 5 by 3 which implies y is equal to minus 2x plus 5 by 2 this is the slope intersecting form of the line and from the equation you can easily find out what is the slope of the line and what is the y intercept so here the slope is minus 2 and the y interception is a 5 by 2 that's simple okay now we'll go to the next question question number 2 reduce the following equation into intersecting form and find their interception on the axis okay so from here we'll solve one or two question but before uh, solving the questions let me discuss once again what is the slope uh, uh, what is the uh, intersecting form of a uh, straight line if we can put an equation in the form of x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 so this a uh, form of equation of a straight line is called intersecting form so we have to put each of the questions in that form so first question is 3x, 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to zero, and we want to put this equation into this form. Okay, so let's see the procedure I am uh, uh, using here. So 3x plus 2y that will be equal to 12, which implies if I now divide the equation by 12 because right hand side should be equal to 1 so i am dividing the whole equation by 12 so it will be 
3x by 12 plus 2y by 12 is equal to 12 by 12 that is equal to 1 now we can see the right hand side is now reduced to 1 that means x by 4 plus y by 6 is equal to 1 so this is the intercepting form of the given equation now from here we can calculate the x interception and y interception here the x interception is x interception is this one 4 and y interception is what is the y interception that is equal to 6 so x interception and y interception are also found okay okay let's go to the next question reduce the following equation in normal form okay reduce the following equation into the normal form and what is the normal form the normal form of a straight line is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p where alpha is the angle made by the normal with the positive direction of x axis and p is the distance of that straight line from the origin so we are considering the first question the first question is uh, 3 1 the equation is x minus root over of 3y plus 8 is equal to 0. We have to reduce this equation into the normal form. So what we'll do? We'll divide, we'll divide this equation. Let this is equation number 1. Divide equation number 1 by under root over of coefficient of x here square of coefficient of x plus square of this whole square that means under root over of 1 plus 3 that is equal to root over of 4 that will be 2 so we are dividing the equation by root over of 2 we have 1 by 2x minus root over of 3 by 2x 2y plus 4 is equal to 0 now we know that half we know that cos pi by 6 is equal to half and sine sorry cos pi by uh, half means cos 60 degree means pi by 3 and sine pi by 3 that is equal to root 3 by 2 put it here so we have uh, it is x into cos pi by 3 minus y into sin pi by 3 plus 4 is equal to 0. This is the normal form of a straight line of this given straight line. Okay. Okay. Now next question is question number 4. Uh, find the distance of the point minus 1 comma plus 1 from the uh, a given line. La equation of line is given we have to find the distance of that line from the point 1 comma 1 uh, minus 1 comma 1 actually okay so question number 3 first question uh, oh sorry 4 the given equation of line is 12 into x plus 3 is equal to 5 into y minus 2 we have to find the distance of this point uh, this line from the point minus 1 comma plus 1 see how to find the distance okay we know the formula the distance of a line a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 from a point suppose x 1 comma y 1 is mod of a x 1 plus b y 1 plus c by root over of a square plus b square we will use the f this formula to find the distance of this point from this straight line okay okay so uh, first reduce this equation into the standard form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 okay so first do the multiplication 12x plus uh, 
uh, that is uh, 72 is equal to 5y minus 10 that means 12x minus 5y plus 72 plus 10 is equal to 0 that means 12x minus 5y and this is uh, plus 82 is equal to 0 ok now this is the s we just put this equation given equation in standard form first and then we'll use this formula ok now distance of the line distance of the line 1 from the point minus 1 comma plus 1 is the distance will be uh, mod of 12 into minus 1 minus 5 into 1 plus 82 divide by under root over of divide by under root over of 12 square plus minus 5 square okay now try to solve the question try to do the calculation first okay okay so uh, I have uh, done the calculations uh, this is minus 12 minus 5 plus 82 divided by root over of 144 uh, plus uh, 25 not 5 this is 25 okay now if you uh, do the calculations uh, you can see that uh, the result will be what will be the result result will be uh, this is uh, 65 by uh, root over of uh, 169 that means uh, root over of 169 means 13 that is a 5 unit that means distance of the line from the point minus 1 to 1 is a 5 unit okay uh, so simple question okay now our next question is question number uh, question number uh, 6 okay question number 6 read the question one just we'll solve the first question of uh, question number 6 find the distance between the parallel lines find the distance between the parallel line 15x plus 8y minus 34 this is the first line and the second line is 15x plus 8y plus 31 is equal to 0 this is the second line we have to find the distance of these two line uh, distance of this two line what is the distance between okay so what is the procedure okay so first do one thing find the distance of first line from the origin distance of uh, equation number one from origin origin means 0 comma 0 okay so what is the distance of this point from the origin so what is the formula the formula will be same the formula will be same the distance will be modulus of 15 into 0 plus 8 into 0 minus 34 divide by under root over of uh, 15 square plus 8 square 15 square plus 8 square okay so that means this is minus 34 divide by if I do the calculation it will be I think 17 that is equal to 2 so distance of first line from the origin is 2 unit okay now find the distance of the second line from the origin distance of 2 2 from the point 0 comma 0 it will be modulus of as 15 into 0 plus 8 into 0 plus 31 divide by uh, that will be 17 again so that is 31 by 17 31 by 17 now we have to find the distance between them okay so 34 means that's add add this two okay so the total distance between the line distance between 
distance between 1 and 2 that will be sum of this plus this so 2 plus 31 by 17 so that is 34 plus 31 divided by 17 that is it, it is 65 by 17 unit 65 by 17 unit this is the procedure okay okay now let's uh, take one more problem one more uh, example okay uh, the second example is uh, question number two of this part two two line is given here the equation of first line is l into x plus y l into x plus y plus p equal to zero first line and the second line is l into x plus y minus r is equal to zero this is the second equation we have to find the distance between these two lines so how we can find the distance between these two lines okay so uh, first write this equation into standard form that will be lx plus ly plus p equal to zero and distance of this point this line from origin distance of this line means if I give it a number in 3 distance of 3 from origin means 0 comma 0 that will be modulus of L into 0 plus M into 0 plus P divided by root of R of L square plus L square this is also L that means P by uh, L root 2 unit similarly uh, if I write this equation into standard form it will be uh, Lx plus Ly minus R is equal to 0 let this is our fourth equation so distance of this equation this line from origin that will be distance of 4 from origin that is 0 comma 0 that will be modulus of L into 0 plus L into 0 minus R by root of R of L square plus L square means its value will be R by uh, L root 2 unit so what is the distance between uh, equation number 1 and equation number 2 so distance between distance between equation number 1 and equation number 2 is just sum of these two number that is uh, p by l root 2 plus r by l root 2 that is p plus r by l root 2 unit this is the distance between these two lines okay so this question is also completed okay so students see my time is also means comes to end so today up to this class next day we'll uh, we'll discuss few more examples from this exercise okay thank you